What's happening, YouTube? I'm Aaron. This is Lowe's joining me, and it is the best. The best. The best woodworking channel on the internet. Probably. Hey, so I hope everyone's okay. Uh, having a great Friday when I'm recording this. Uh, Friday the 20 something, 21st, I think. I'm not too sure. I don't know what day comes and what day ends. Uh, thanks for joining me on this uh, project build. Um, as you can see by the thumbnail, it's a very simple build. I want to get this one in and out. I've been asked to do it by the better half. She held me at gunpoint. <laughs> and I've just got to get this in and out now because uh, it's, it's a birthday present for a dog's party. Alrighty then. So yeah, it's just a little dog spinner thing. I'm gonna do a little rustic frame. I'm gonna use whatever stuff I've got in. But yeah, sit back, enjoy, and I'll catch you at the end, guys, lads, ladies, when I'm finished. I've got a load of 3v2 uh, that I've ripped off a pallet. So thinking of doing a piece there and having a couple of angle pieces as some sort of stabilizers there. The rod, which is gonna go across there another piece to come down there and then little angled feet legs whatever you want to call it and then that would be your little rod or dowel or copper pipe whatever you want to use uh, here we'd have the bottles they spin round and then we need we're going to need because that's not very structurally sound on its own that's going to rack which means it's going to go back and forth like that so we're going to have to put something on the top and ideally something along the bottom just to stop any racking if possible i think we'll make these frames up decide where the hole is going to go for the for the bottles and then we can decide what we're going to put on the bottom there Okay then guys, so got our brush stock now. I'm gonna get some measurements. So we've got a two litre bottle, standard UK two litre bottle. Uh, it's about 13 inches long. Obviously we don't want to have it at the top. So it needs to be needs to be there as a minimum really for it to swing. Rund. 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 Make it 35 for argument's sake, I think. Sanding finished and it took forever, forever, forever. I'm gonna do a bit of assembly now. What I'm gonna do is use the bottom of this board I've got. Anything straight you can use as a sort of reference as the floor. Uh, if you line the bottom of the cut up with the bottom of the edge of the board, and then you offer this piece up, push it tight against this, ball it down to it, and obviously that will be flat and that will be flat. If you want, you can use a straight edge, straight edge, a square, to make sure that you're at a complete right, right angle. But if this cuts straight and this board is straight, then there's no reason why it shouldn't be upright. But what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna just push this up just a half inch or so, just a quarter of an inch or so, just to take out because if it's all flat and there's a little bit of a hump this is not going to sit straight so if the two legs are a little bit lower than this it should sit on the floor a lot more firmer be more stable stable <laughs> Yeah, then go 
guys, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these down because they are a little long. It's a longer than shorter, as I tell the wife. Um, there's your bottle. What I'm going to put on there. Obviously, it does, can't be on the on on the floor, so we've got to come up enough. But I'm just sort of eyeing it. As that bottle swings like that, obviously the dog needs to knock it up. So I'm thinking, come up to about there. That'll be enough swing for Rupert to um, kick it and fanny about with it. Fannying about! <laughs> Fannying about! So we're having a 27 inch long piece now, not 35. Tell you what, I must be barking mad to be doing this job. Ho! Oh, howdy folks. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. A uh, bit of a confession. This outro is filmed a hell of a lot later than the build video. That was younger me doing that. So yeah, I did want to get, as I said in the video, I did want to get this in and out. And in all honesty, I did get it made last time, but I just took a hell of a long time getting it to them because they went on holiday, then we went on holiday. Uh, and it was only the other day that I managed to take it and get a video and that. So I didn't even manage to get any decent pics of it. So I am really sorry. I know this video has come to a bit of a weird end, just a bit all over the place to end with, but I want to put it out anyway, because, um, you know, it's a how-to video. Follow the instructions, and obviously, if you want to make it yourself, uh, feel free. Let me know in the comments if you do, how it turned out. I'd love to know that. Um, I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet. Uh, if you haven't already and you're new here, um, please consider subscribing. It'll mean the world to me. It'll help the channel grow and it'll get me in a better position. I've actually got, uh, I think it's about three videos in, um, well, waiting to, to go live. So I've never been in that position before. Pretty sad really, isn't it? But anyway, so anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up guys. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up, share it amongst your friends. Let anybody know who wants to know if they're dog lovers. Um, if you haven't already seen it, I'm not sure. I'll put a little clip of the dog using it. It decided to rip the bottle a little bit more than flip the bottle. But yeah, he enjoyed it. And the people, the owners say that he just plays with it all the time now. He absolutely loves it, even though there's no treats in there. So winner, winner. So yeah, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please can subscribe. <laughs> If you haven't already please consider subscribing as i say before it means the world and it would help the channel grow take it easy guys and look after yourself stay safe and i'll catch you on the next video see you later